Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are well. Now, one thing that's got me thinking at the moment is the possibility of a future with the 2099 story arc or universe or timeline, whatever you want to call it. The fact is, with the release of well, Guillotine 2099, which has been confirmed by the data mining information with uh, Otrux and it's been put on Marvel Contest of Champions True Curses page, really got me thinking about the tie-ins, the reason for this. So I'm gonna hopefully ask the questions at New York Comic Con, but also do my own little research as to is there anything that pushes this need to have this in the game. And personally, I'm really up for it because it's a new story arc, it's a new timeline that we haven't properly discovered or kind of gone down the route of, except for Punisher 2099, of course. The reason I think we're getting this is in order to celebrate the 80th anniversary of Marvel. And to give you a perspective, it was 1992 when we saw the initial start point of the 2099 universe or timeline with Spider-Man 2099, Ravage 2099, Doom 2099 and Punisher 2099. Even though fans asked for more titles, it was declining very fast. And quite surprisingly with the addition of X-Men 2099 and Hulk 2099, by the end of the decade it was a case no one was interested and they actually stopped this type of story arc. And since the series really declining from 1998, there's only been occasional little one-shots or one-offs where they've decided to revamp or redo or even add in a new character to the 2099 story arc in general. So I guess the question you could be asking is like, well, why now? What's the point? Is there any point to this? Well, Punisher 2099 has been in the game for over two years, so an expanded universe on a 2099 era would be a good thing in game, but there's more. And that is that in December of this year, to coincide with the 80th anniversary of Marvel, we're going to see the 2099 story arc get revamped, or it's going to be a case it's going to be following more exploits. It's very hard to tell. Especially because these 2099, we've got Doom 2099, which could coincide with something that could happen by the end of the year with the Fantastic Four story arc in-game expanding or kind of ceasing. Spider-Man 2099, which is a character and a suit that I would love to see in-game rather than seeing so many movie suits. It would be cool to tie in something like this in the future. I, don't th I think it would be a bit much to have another Spider-Man suit this year. But also, there is going to be a Ghost Rider 2099, who looks a little bit like a, a Terminator. I don't think we'd receive something like this in-game, but you never know. Venom 2099, I, I don't think this will tie in completely, but a special 2099-based event possibly could be in the works in the future. Now, doing a bit of further reading into how Doctor Doom 2099 factors in, because do bear in mind, we haven't had this champion in-game yet. How will this champion be introduced? Will it be a Cyber 2099 version of him? Will it not be? It's hard to tell at the moment, but we know we're going to get something. So if it does tie into this Gear Team 2099 story arc, what kind of extra powers would he have the ability to have? And it could be a case that he would be a tech because he'd get nanotechnology based on this neuro cyber surgically enhanced system that he has. So this would be a tech version coming into game. I don't know how anybody would feel about that. Put it in the comments section. It'd be interesting to find out your feedback if Kabam go down this route of saying, right, you're not getting a mystical version. You're instead getting a tech version based on these alterations. So will, will we or could we get Doctor Doom 2099. Now, if that was the case, I don't know really how to feel. I've kind of thought about this being more of a mystical based character, but at the same time, we have to leave ourselves open that this could be what we might see. Now, I'm not saying that it will be, but you have to bear in mind the way that this could play out. It's very weird that we got a 2099 version of Guillotine, so we've pre hyped something of a reason to create a story arc behind it, but at the same time, we're looking into the fact that, uh, oh, I'm even doing the same pose as him now, mm, uh, that there could be an option to build up that, have a 2099 story arc and take things into the future, which would be kind of cool, kind of disappointing for some that may want him to be more of a mystical character and more in keeping with maybe how things started. But at the same time, there may be those that go, right, well, he should be cosmic powered and that would be how it should go down the route of. I don't know, I'll be interested to see your feedback and thoughts about this. 
but it's kind of good to get everyone's perspectives of what we could see in the future. For those interested in learning a bit more about the 2099 universe, go to the several links in the description down below. And at the same time, you know, if you want to know a little bit more about this, it can be summarized by this statement. In the year 2099, the Marvel Universe proves that there will always be a need for heroes. In this dystopian future, society is ruled by corrupt entities and it is harder than ever to rise above the status quo. But there is hope in a new age of Marvels. Jump through time to discover Marvel 2099 and see what lies on the horizon for your favorite heroes. 2099 universe does seem like a new cool venture, but at the same time, I don't know if the community would really back it, especially considering we've got all these kind of new variants of characters. But it would be nice to say that, right, well, Punisher 2099 is not alone. It's always been a very obscure character, especially from the Contest of Champions comic book, where he's only in it for one scene in that particular armor, and then the next scene gets killed, which you just go, well, what was the actual point? However, though, if they are going to go down the route of expanding this 2099 universe, and we could see the likes of Spider-Man 2099 in that different suit, also, we could see something like a Doom 2099, we could see X-Men 2099, and just having that expanded thoroughly, then I'd be like, yeah, I'm up for this. So we'll see what the coming years have for the game. There we have it. That's been a little video talking about the 2099 universe and also its possible expansions in game, and not to mention the run of the 2099 comic books, which should be hitting stores in December. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, subscribe for more, comment down below whether or not you feel this is a possibility and whether you would or wouldn't like to see this in game. I've been Rich the Man. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye for now.